This episode, after checking out the abandoned resort on Brampton Island, we sailed to Goldsmith and Thomas Islands on our way north. We've just come into Brampton Island and we're just on our way in. We're going to quickly go check out the um, no longer operating resort up the end there and then we're going to go walk up to the lookout. Beautiful day here today. All shoot up, ready to go.
Brampton Island Resort that's no longer. We've just got back and left our shoes here. There's no point tracking them all up for our walk. And I don't remember leaving that there. And there's a few footprints. And I'm missing a sock. A bird stole on a sock. That's a bit rude. So my shoes were down there and I've stolen it. I've just followed those footprints up here. Here they are here. Going around there. Followed my footprint trail. Up around here, back around the trees, back around this tree, back all the way around, and here's my sacred sock, bear hunted. The Sock Thieves, two guilty accomplices. On our way to Goldsmith, the Ferry Islands, and if uh, that's not protected enough, we'll head on to Thomas. So we've just uh, punched off and headed out. So we've set our course, we've just dropped the reef in to slow down because we put a fishing line out the back and it's just starting to get a bit windy. What we like to do is set our autopilot onto the uh, true wind apparent and that way then we never get into any accidental jives but we just have to main, maintain the course and just check that we're not veering off too drastically from where we're intending to go. But holding it lovely. Fishing rods out. Beautifully, just under Main, just cruising past the back side of Goldsmith Island. Finally, out of the chop, which is nice, but yeah, very, very picturesque. Get a current ripple through between the islands, make it a little bit messy, but we're just coming around the top of the Goldsmith and it's starting to look lovely and flat up there already. So, once we get through this bit of a rip, Protected. Coming into the lovely flat water now, out of all the wind and rip. I expect we'll luff up soon with the uh, wind falling out, and then we'll motor in. Was it Dead Dog Island? And just behind it is Thomas, which is where we're going to stay tonight. Now we're not sailing through because we just caught a fish, so we've uh, dropped sail. We had the spinnaker up, so we're not putting it up for the last 500 metres in there. It's not worth but how it. big was it? Monster it's on the back step, it might feed me. It's always exciting coming around a corner when you know there's a boat on AIS. You just want to know who else is around here, whether you know them or not. Um, we think this could be Zoom, which we met in Newcow. So demonstrating how we come in. So we're just picking between the different satellites, like we it's always say. Blue. So we've got Arc, GIS, Google, and Bing. So I think Bing's the clearest. So we're coming in, and I can see that we've got rocks. So I know that right now we are 84 metres from that rock and it's almost low tide, so we're just getting happy depth and we're going to drop anchor. Okay, so we've just worked out, we have a metre of water under us, a three metre tide, so we've got four metres, so we try to get to six to one, so we need about 25 metres of chain. So 
This is how we know how much chain we have coming out. We've already fed it out. And there's our 10 metre mark. our mantis hook. It never comes off. Yes. You lock it in with the plastic catch and it can't come off at all ever. So, um, we always reverse back to lock in our anchor and um, so we start off just doing it while Chris is standing on the front keeping a bearing on where we are and then we pull back with as much um, reverse as we can to make sure the anchor's really locked in. We forget our thongs, they work in the boat. Still pick it up the rock that you're standing on that was bigger and smoother. Put it in front. <laughs> and moving forward. It is not nice to walk on. It is jagged. And we'll have our mantis hook. It never comes off. Except for that one.